Strom syndrome is a rare genetic disorder first identified by, surprise, a Dr. Strom. He initially described patients with the three key features of the disorder, a specific kind of narrowing of the intestines called apple peel atresia, eye abnormalities, and small head size. Clinical features. Intestinal atresia is a phenomenon in which the intestines are not formed properly. This causes them to be missing sections or be significantly narrowed, sometimes to the point of completely lacking a patent or hollow interior. Apple peel atresia refers to a proximal small intestine that ends in a blind pouch, while the atretic, distal small intestine, wraps around its blood supply in a spiral, kind of like when you cut off an apple peel in a single piece. A significant portion of the small bowel is often missing, and occasionally there's intestinal malrotation, or failure of the intestines to properly rotate outside of the body during embryonic development. Ocular abnormalities in Strom syndrome include small eyes called microphthalmia and malformations of the anterior segment or front part of the eye, including a small or cloudy cornea or poor attachment of the iris to the cornea. These eye problems can cause poor vision. Small head size, called microcephaly, is common in Strom syndrome. This occurs because the brain inside doesn't grow normally, and intellectual disability can result. Molecular causes of Strom syndrome. The gene that's mutated in Strom syndrome is CENPF, which codes for centromeric protein F also called mitosin. As its name suggests, this protein is present at the centromere of chromosomes, the part that allows chromosome segregation to occur. Specifically, CENPF seems to be important for kinetic core microtubule attachment at the centromere, and thus has a role in the cell cycle. CENPF is also important for the development and function of cilia, a type of elongated cellular appendage which facilitates the movement, or brushing, of particles, including cells or molecules. In the embryo, cilia are important for proper alignment, placement, and structure of organs. Some patients with CENPF mutations have a particularly strong phenotype, including Strom syndrome features and also problems like small kidneys, brain malformations, polydactyly, and even death in utero. Some of these features are seen in other diseases involving dysfunctional cilia, collectively termed ciliopathies. Additionally, CENPF mutations can also be seen in milder phenotypes, for example, isolated microcephaly. Inheritance of Strom syndrome. Strom syndrome is an autosomal recessive disorder, meaning that both copies of the CENPF gene must be mutated in order to cause the disease. Diagnosis of Strom syndrome. The diagnosis of Strom syndrome is made either by clearly observing the three key clinical features and or by finding a mutation in each copy of the CENPF gene. Treatment and surveillance of Strom syndrome. Strom syndrome has no cure, but some symptoms may be treated. For example, malrotation or intestinal atresia can be corrected with surgery. This needs to happen urgently in the newborn period. Unfortunately, if a significant portion of the atretic intestine needs to be cut out or was missing in the first place, patients can have malabsorption, where the remaining small intestine doesn't do a perfect job of absorbing sufficient energy from food. Differential Diagnosis The differential diagnosis for Strom syndrome includes isolated apple peel intestinal atresia, other ciliopathies, and other causes of microcephaly. To recap, Strom syndrome is a rare, autosomal recessive genetic disease 
caused by mutations in the CENPF gene. It's a ciliopathy. And the three key features are apple peel intestinal atresia, eye problems, and small head size.